Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. This is Chetan and today we are going to talk about the Redmi 4 smartphone from Xiaomi. This is the Indian variant which comes with a Snapdragon 435 processor and this is 3GB variant that comes with 32GB internal storage that I have used for the past couple of weeks. There are two other variants, one with 2GB of RAM and 16GB storage and one with 4GB of RAM and 64GB storage. All of them differ with the price difference of 2000 rupees each. And this is the one that I used and it won't be a much of a difference for the other two phones except for the fact that RAM management will be different because of the lesser or higher amount of RAM and the storage will be different. So in this video, we'll talk about the pros and cons, what I liked and what I didn't like about the phone for this uh, amount of usage that I did of about 14 days. And the first pro is about the design and build quality. For a price of Rs. 7000, because you're getting the same variant for every price so the build quality is perfect it's a very solid device and very comfortable in the hand for the 5 inch uh, screen size most of the phones that you are seeing in the recent times even in this price range have come down to a size of 5.5 inch that's a pretty large size for many hands and this is a perfect size of 5 inch this has been a, a very good size for quite a long time many phones did come with 4.7 inch to 5.2 inch and the optimum size is 5 inch along with that it's a metal build so metal body does have a good uh, solid build and uh, there's only this plastic on the top and bottom with uh, these lines for the antenna so that is, that is how xiaomi has uh, brilliantly worked on this and this is the dark version which is much better in looks than the other ones the next is about the display the display has a 720p resolution for this price there are a few phones that might come with a full hd display but there are again two drawbacks if you have a higher resolution display one is with the battery one is with the gpu or the performance of graphics so that is dependent on the processor as well but still when you are given a 720p display for a 5 inch screen that's good enough because you are getting a good uh, pixel density as well as in the xiaomi redmi 4 there's a good color output as well and the other fact is that it has a 2.5d display which is uh, a glass which has curved round edges on the sides so that adds to the good looks of the phone it doesn't help any way in the functionality but Aesthetically, it's a very good feature that is added by Xiaomi. A third and a very important fact is about the performance. A good pro because Snapdragon 435, the octa-core processor, does well with gaming and with the multitasking and with any other task you have given it. And for a rupees 7,000 or 9,000 rupees phone, the performance is very good. And for most of the games that I played, even the Modern Combat 5 or the Asphalt 8, the gaming has never let down. There were rarely any frame drops or any lags. It was playing very well. But there's one con that I'll be talking about it later when you're talking about gaming. The next one is about the fingerprint sensor. Many of you asked us about how good the fingerprint sensor of the Redmi 4 is because uh, some of the Xiaomi phones earlier did not do very well with the recognition of the fingerprints. But in this, the recognition of the fingerprint uh, scanner on the back is uh, pretty good and the placement also is uh, pretty fine because when you're holding the phone in any way, uh, the reaching of the finger is very easy. And along with that, uh, the fingerprint scanner doesn't only help you in uh, unlocking the screen, it also helps in uh, privacy protection and also with app lock. App lock is a feature from Xiaomi which uh, does the locking of the apps and you can unlock it only with the fingerprint or the security password. So that is where a scanner would help you. The next one is about the cameras. Both the cameras are decent in performance when you talk about the good light around that is about the bright light conditions uh, it works well with the normal mode with the hdr mode and you have a few settings to play around with if you are someone who likes manual settings you can change the uh, exposure you can change uh, iso as well so that is where the camera performance is pretty decent uh, for this price again and in the competition there are a few phones like the lenovo k6 power and also a couple of them from asus but most of them don't work that well in bright light when you compare it with the redmi 4. the next a uh, very important uh, pro again a very good advantage of having the recent uh, redmi phones is the battery life the redmi 3s as well had a 4000 mAh battery and now the redmi 4 with this size you won't expect a 4100 mAh battery but xiaomi did manage to pack a such a good battery here and it's not just a number what you get is more than a day of usage very easily when you are even a heavy user. For the moderate users who want a secondary phone, this might last even for two days without you having to worry about the battery. It's about four to five hours of screen on time that you get easily with the full charge. And I'm not uh, very sure whether this will have a quick charge or not because we aren't given a quick charger in the box, but 435 is supposed to have a support for quick charge. 
the next one is about the 4G and the connectivity it has VOLT so you can work your, uh, with your Geo SIM on it but we are not talking only about that here it's about the 4G connectivity the connectivity is very fast it's very good and whenever you're switching between uh, uh, Wi-Fi and uh, 4G it's very swift it doesn't take a lot of time and uh, for all the connectivity options that it has it's a very good uh, phone the next one is uh, the IR blaster which is another uh, Pro because in this price range I don't remember any other phone except for the Xiaomi ones offering an IR blaster. I don't know how many of you would use it but I would usually use it because this infrared sensor helps you move all the remotes away. It's an easy remote option when you have smart devices around such as a TV or even a uh, AC. If it's a smart AC it would recognize with this uh, IR blaster and there are a lot of devices that are registered in the uh, Mi remote app and you can easily control those devices with your smartphone itself. And the last good thing that uh, I like about the Redmi 4 is the placement of the speakers. It's a single speaker on the right side. Although there are two grills here, it's only aesthetically present here. But the second one, that right one, is where the speaker is located. And that's a good placement because whenever the phone is on a flat surface, if the speaker is located on the back, that was on the Redmi 4A, there's a lot of noise that get cancelled here. If you are having a ringtone in the medium volume, you won't be able to hear that at sometimes if it's placed on uh, its flat surface. So that's where the placement of the speaker is important and it's a good thing that Xiaomi placed the speakers on the bottom grill. Now let's talk about the cons, what I didn't like about the phone. The first thing is the camera. The camera is good when it's in bright light but in low light, both the cameras, the back and the front, both the cameras don't do well. There's a lot of noise that you see if you don't use the flashlight and if you're using flash, the natural color goes away. So uh, a lot of noise is noticed not just with the back camera, even when you are taking selfies and there's no appreciable light behind the phone, then there's a lot of noise and you don't even have a proper subject view in the field. Next one is the OS version. MIUI 8 is uh, running based on Android Marshmallow here. All the Xiaomi at their launch event told that you might be getting Android Nougat update and the developers are getting the uh, latest OS update on it, but still the users aren't getting it and we are not sure when that would arrive. Not that it again matters that uh, you might need the latest OS because MIUI is completely different from how stock Android would be. But still, whenever there's a major Android update, there are a lot of new features introduced in that. And if that is missing here, then that's a con. Next one, what I talked about gaming was a very brilliant gaming performance. But on the other side, it's a disadvantage that the phone heat ups a bit. It takes you to about 40, 41 degrees in the normal temperatures. In the room temperatures, when you're playing games, it might even reach 42. And even though that's not an alarming temperature, we have seen Sony phones going to 48 and 50 degrees as well. But still, when you're using uh, the phone for gaming, when you're playing games and suddenly you get a call, for a temperature of about 42, the screen gets very hot and you can't even place it near the ear to take a call. Next one is about the slots for the SIM card and the microSD card. Although the phone is claimed to have a microSD card slot, it's not a dedicated one. It's a hybrid SIM slot. The second slot can have either a SIM card or it can have a microSD card. So that is a disadvantage if you are trying to have two SIMs together and, and you don't think the storage is enough, then you can't have a microSD card separately. And for that, you might have to upgrade to a higher variant. That's a 3GB or 4GB RAM variant. But then you are paying high and you can check for the other options as well. And you won't be limited to Redmi 4 then. The next con is about the navigation buttons. Uh, I, I won't be really saying that uh, that's a big con but still it, is, it does matter because the navigation buttons are here not backlit and when you're using the phone in a very low light condition you won't be able to notice where the buttons are and where you have to actually hit the button to, for the functionality. So uh, these buttons are not backlit and that is a bit of a disadvantage not a big one but still a factor that you have to consider. So this was it. Uh, these were all the pros and cons pretty much what I would have talked in the review as well it's what matters for you what are the factors that you might like to buy a phone and what might be a drawback when you're trying to purchase a phone so these were the pros and cons of the xiaomi redmi 4 smartphone i hope you liked the video if you did uh, you can uh, hit the like button if you have any questions to ask you can ask them in the comment section below share the video and subscribe to gizmo times for more thank you